you can draw this and procreate. Hey Flow Creator, during this easy procreate tutorial, we will be creating this flower with pen and ink and a little bit of watercolor. It's a super easy process in which we will start with these ovals to guide us, then we'll create a sketch, after that we'll create our line art, and at the end we will add a watercolor touch. I'm already excited to see your end result once you have reached the end of this video, so please don't forget to share that. I'm already proud of you. If you're sharing it on Instagram, then don't forget to tag me in the image because that way I will be able to find your work and then maybe we will see it in the next video. Just like these flotastic results from my friends at Patreon. Perhaps you already know it, but Patreon is really the place to go if you have a serious Procreate tutorial addiction because more than 150 tutorials are waiting there for you and they range from beginner levels to more advanced levels. For this tutorial, we're working on a canvas that is 3500 pixels by 3500 pixels. And I have added a link in the description to grab the same photo texture as I'll be using during this tutorial. And then if you're ready, let's get started. We will start off by drawing three circles and we will use those as a guide to draw our flower. And to draw those circles, let's use a sketching brush. I'm going to use a 6B pencil, which you can find under sketching. And for the color, you can simply grab pure black. You can double tap here to grab black. I have the opacity of the brush set to 100% and the size is set to 50%. And now let's draw a circle. Start here, draw a circle. Hold your pen in place to make it snap to the quick shape and create something like this. Then we will make an oval shape here at the top. Top of our circle, hold your pen in place again to make it snap to the quick shape. You can also use edit here at the top to make sure that it's pretty much horizontal, so something like this. And then tap the brush again for another oval. Let's start here and make an oval that is going around these two. Hold your pen in place again to make it snap to the quick shape. So you have a little bit of a squished circle here, then a flat oval on top, and then a bigger oval surrounding these two with more space here at the bottom then here at the top. And now that we have our ovals, let's make a layer on top, but let's first lower the opacity of these ovals just a little bit. Let's tap the end and set this to 50%. And then let's tap the plus for a new layer. And on that new layer, we are going to sketch out our flower. Now let's start about here and make a curved line going up and a little bit through our oval here and then back down like this. So this is the bottom of that petal and it's moving through that top oval just a little bit. Then we'll make another one over here. Again, moving through that oval a little bit. And now let's make one that's covering that one moving towards the outside here. But following that underside of that small oval. And one over here, curving up, moving through the top oval, then downward here along the bottom of that smaller oval. Then over here, we'll have one Moving up, going a little bit through that oval. And the top part of this, of this oval, that's like the, the core, that center of our flower. Then over here, let's make a curve going up towards that oval and then downward like this with an extra line here. So we, we're seeing a bit of a curved folded petal here. Then another one next to it, up towards that oval. So that's like the top of these petals, but you can also make some smaller ones like over here, a smaller one, and then one that's slightly bigger, moving through that oval and another one next to it. 
And then here is one that's in the back. It's touching that bigger oval. And this one's also moving through that oval a little bit. Now we have one over here. So that top oval, that is, that is like the top, that is where these petals in the center will touch or slightly move through it. And then the smaller oval in the center, that's like the base, that's the core of our flower. And our bigger oval, that's a guide for our outer petals. But those can also move through it a little bit. They can be a little bit larger. It's just a guide or oval. So this one is moving through it. We can make another one over here. But it will ensure that the sizes of our petals will look natural and correct. Then over here, I want one that's covered by one over here. Let's start about halfway of this petal. And then make a nice big petal, almost touching the outer part of that oval. And this one is behind it. Now let's move to the front here. Let's make one curving towards the foreground. Here we'll start a little bit to the right of this one. So we'll start here, make a curve towards that oval. And then over here, add a little thingy, little bumpy. So it's curved like this, then with an extra line like this. So it's slightly, slightly twisted. Then over here, let's start at the center point of this petal and make a curve outward towards that oval. Then go up and curve back like this. So it's close to this line here. And then make a line like this. So this is a petal that is curved upward a little bit. Then over here, let's make another one. We'll curve upward towards the outer edge and make an extra little line here, like a slight, slight curled part there. Then here towards the outside make a pointy part and then here we can make one in between. And slightly moving out of that oval and then over here start underneath this oval slightly moving through the outer oval and then one over here. Now some more on the foreground. Let's make one in between these two. Moving out of the oval. But still that oval is a guide. You don't want to go too far outside of it or make petals that are too small. Here we can make one that's a little bit more outside of that oval towards our viewer and here as well. with a little extra edge, slight little curl here as well. Then over here, let's make one moving out of the oval, then curling back here with a slight little edge here. And then finally over here, let's make one like this, a little bit more thin, a little bit smaller with a little curve here. Now let's turn those ovals off at the bottom. Now you can see that we have a nice flower. Let's just add a few little details to the center part. I want to create, well, I'm not sure what these are called, but you would see lots of these like seed things. And they almost look a bit like scales. We're just making these, these little bumps, little 
you know, wiggles, just a bit like scales. And they are curving towards the center point and they will get smaller as you move to that point. So just make a bunch of them, but make them smaller as you move towards that top part. Like here, they can be very small. They don't have to touch each other. So just a few small ones here. And we can refine these on the outside just a little bit more. So that's about it. Now that we have our sketch, it's time to create the line art to really start inking. And to do that, first let's let's just get rid of these ovals. We can remove that layer. Let's delete it. Then lower the opacity of this layer by tapping the N and sliding to the left. I always like to set it to around 30%. Then tap the plus. And then for the brush, I would like to use a brush from my treasure chest brush pack. If you don't already have it, then be sure to go to freefromflow.com to get it. It's totally free. And I believe there are more than 80 brushes in there by now. So it's definitely worth checking that out. For this tutorial, we are going to use the fine liner brush. And for the color, we'll stick with our pure black. Now the opacity of the brush is at 100% and we'll set the size to 10% for our petals. And I'll just go in here and we are going to follow our sketch lines and create clean line art. Now it doesn't have to be super clean, of course. Don't worry if you have some wiggles, if you have some trouble creating smooth lines. I need to undo some parts too sometimes. And sometimes it can be handy to just rotate your canvas and change the curve you need to make. I rotate my canvas all the time just to find that perfect way to create the curve. I will just go along all of these petals trying to find the best line to follow from our sketch. This one. So you can change it a little bit. You don't have to follow your sketch exactly, of course. For this one, I want the bottom part to be a little bit thinner, so I'll use less pressure and then more pressure as I move up. And this one, it's behind that other one, so we don't have to follow that line. This one, here we have a smaller one. And I'm letting my lines barely touch that core of our flower. Then move to this side, gentle curves. Rotating the canvas to make it a little bit easier. And this can definitely take a little bit of practice. Don't worry about that. It gets easier as you use your Apple Pencil more often. I'm going to rotate this. And just don't worry if you need to undo and redo a lot. For this one, I want to make a curve like this. I think that will be the best option for me in any case. And this one. 
this one. Little edge here. Then over here, we have this little curve, little curled, curled up petal. Over here, I want this line to be a bit more subtle. So let's use less pressure. And if you're having trouble with your pressure, if you tend to press really hard, then I would suggest just making your brush a little bit smaller, of course. This one. With a little wiggle here. Then we're almost there for our petals. With a little extra line here. And this one, final one. Let's give this a little extra line as well. So now we have all the petals, let's work on that center part. But let's make the brush a little bit smaller. Let's set it to 6% and then dive in there. Following all these parts here. We can add some extra. You don't have to follow your sketch exactly, of course. I'm going to attach this. And then just go over the entire center until you have something like this. Now we have created all the major lines. Before we continue, we can actually turn off our sketch layer here at the bottom. We don't need that anymore. Now we are going to add all the shading, all the texture, all the hatching. And we'll do that on a new layer. So let's tap the plus and we'll stick with our brush. But we are going to change the color slightly. I want to use a very dark gray. You can go to value and then here you can tap next to hexadecimal and then let's remove this and let's set it to 2B, 2B, 2B and then press enter. Now we have a very dark gray. And now let's go in here. Let's go and add texture and hatching to our petals first. Let's start here, make a line curving with the petal and some extra lines here and then here at the bottom we'll make loads of these lines curving upward with the shape of the petal just make these flicks with your hand and some will be a little bit longer and some or actually a lot will be shorter so the underside of the petal will be nice and dark. Make some curving in this direction here as we move to the left on this petal. And so every once in a while you make a longer flick with your hand. And lots of short ones here near the bottom. Bring them close together so it's almost fully covered there. You can also add some extra little, little lines like this for extra interest, extra texture. So your petals should look something like this. We can add some extra here, actually make that a little bit darker right where it touches the other petal. 
and then we'll do this for all of the petals. Let's start with this one, make a line here first, curving with the shape of the petal. And then over here we'll curve upward and some will be longer again. Let's go along the entire underside of that petal. And add some extra little dashes as well. So this is like the shadow of this petal. So that underside is darker and the top part is lighter where it's getting hit by light. Then for the petals at the bottom, again, we need to follow that shape, that curve of the petals. This area is also in a shadow Just follow that curve a bit. Up to this line and add more shorter lines, shorter hatches near that area where it's touching the other petal. And then just vary the length here we can add the shorter lines again. Until it's nice and dark near the base and a bit lighter towards that tip of the petal. Now repeat this process for all of the petals until it looks like this. Now we just need to add texture to that center part and it will basically work the same. We will make these thin lines along these, these parts in the core and we will leave the top parts, we will leave those a little bit open. So hatch from the bottom to the top. Covering those areas, but leaving that the top little edge, leaving that open. And the bottom part will be darker. So it's quite a lot of work, but eventually you will have something like this. And you can see how I left everything a bit more open at the top. That's the place where the light is hitting. So the darkest areas are around the edge and here everything is a little bit lighter. Before we start playing around with the watercolors, let's add a paper texture. You can do that by going to the wrench, then to add and then to insert a photo. And I will add this photo. I have added a link in the description so you can download it as well. But of course you can add any paper texture you like. Now let's zoom out a little bit. And then while you have this set to uniform, stretch the paper a little bit to make it cover the entire canvas. Then we'll go to the layer menu. Then we'll tap the N and then we'll set the layer blending mode to multiply. And now you can see a subtle paper texture on your canvas. If it's a little bit too strong for you, if it's too dark, then you can always just tap the M and use the slider to lower the opacity a little bit. I'm going to stick with 100%, but don't worry, you can always change that. Now let's make a layer underneath our paper texture. So first tap layer three, then tap the plus. And for our color, we will go back to pure black. We have it in our history, but you can also double tap over here in your circle to grab your black 
And for the brush, we are going to use another brush from the treasure chest. And it's a watercolor brush from my watercolor brush set. We are going to use the round watery brush. And like I said, it's part of my watercolor brush pack. If you enjoy working with watercolors, then you might want to check that out. It's a set with amazing realistic watercolor brushes, and it also comes with a fun tutorial. You know what? I'll just leave a link for you in the description. So we use the round watery brush. The opacity of the brush is at 100% and I have the size set to 2%. And we are going to use this brush to add some darker shadows. And with this brush, as long as you have your pen on the screen, you can use it to mix or blend the paint and make it more watery. Let's dive in here. And for instance, let's darken this area and don't lift your pen to make it more watery. And every time you lift your pen and put it on your screen again, you add more ink or more watercolor paint. And we will go along all of these edges and make that darker. But if you want that faded look at the top here, then don't lift your pen at the darkest parts at the bottom and then keep your pen on the screen and make it like dilute towards the top. So for all of the bottom parts of these petals, all those shadow areas, we are going to add this watercolor paint. This one as well. Just those areas where you have a lot of hatches, you can add that watercolor effect. And in some areas you can keep it a bit light, just going over there once. Let's go over here. It's also pressure sensitive, so if you use less pressure on your pen, it will be a bit more transparent, the paint. And if you press harder, you will get a more opaque stroke. Here we have a nice shadow area so you can go over multiple times, deepening that area, deepening that shadow area. Especially here, you don't want to see that transition anymore. This is just a deep shadow area where you don't really see where one petal starts and the other begins. Here, this is nice and dark. Go along the edges and then gently go towards the end with less pressure. So less pressure in the faded areas. Here we can darken this. We're almost there. Nice deep shadow over here. A bit at the pointy part here, slight little 
splotch of watercolor paint and then this one and then let's darken some of those well center parts as well just those bottom areas lifting my pen a bit more to add some darker parts But still keeping that top part lighter we can add a little bit of watercolor here not lifting my pen just not too much I think something like this looks good and I can see the difference if you turn that watercolor layer off and on it adds an extra depth and that's it you have made it a lovely flower with ink and watercolor if you have been enjoying this then i think you might like this tutorial as well so you might be able to turn this into a streak i would like to thank you for watching and i will see you next time for the next tutorial